Hey everyone, it's Nisa from Nisa's Kitchen here. Thanks for joining in for this year's Feast on the Farm meal. I'm really excited to be a part of the feast this year with Stewardship Partners. The work that they do to preserve our local land and waters is super important to me and very close to my heart. So, for this evening, I made a really delightful vodka cocktail for you to enjoy with your meal. Um, it is aptly named the Harvest Feast Moon Cocktail, uh, which is the name of the full moon that just passed and also happened to mark the change of seasons from summer to fall. Um, so the drink is made with a hibiscus and black pepper infusion, a little bit of grapefruit juice, some fresh lime juice, a little bit of agave for sweetness, and um, then your Tito's vodka, which you will have in your box as well. Um, so in your box, you will receive the mix for the cocktail, all jarred and ready to shake together with the vodka. Um, this is what it will look like right here. And um, this little envelope has some dried hibiscus in it. So after you have shaken your cocktail all together and poured it into your glass, you can just add a little bit of that to garnish your drink and it will add just a little bit of fancy flair to your beverage. Um, so this mix that's in this jar is enough to make two cocktails and depending on the size of your shaker, you may be able to shake them both at the same time. Um, if your cocktail shaker is on the smaller side, like this one, uh, just mix them one at a time. You can uh, preserve the ice that you use to shake the first drink for your second, just to keep it nice and simple. Now there's a couple of options for you um, for what you can use to shake your drink, depending on if you have a cocktail shaker or not. Um, the first choice obviously would be a standard cocktail shaker like this one or like this one. Um, if you don't have a cocktail shaker, all you need, well there's a couple options, but one is um, a mason jar or a spill proof um, coffee mug. To make it in the mason jar, you'll just add everything to the jar with ice, um, give it a good shake, and then take off this outer ring here um, and hold the flat lid kind of askew as you pour it into your glass. For the coffee mug option, same thing, just add the ice, the mixer, the vodka to the vessel, seal it up, make sure it's closed, um, give it a good shake, and then open it up to pour it into your glass. So now I'll set this aside, and I'm going to show you how to make it quickly using a standard cocktail shaker. Um, so first thing you want to do is fill your cocktail shaker with ice, and then grab two glasses and fill them with ice as well. Um, these already have ice in them. Um, if you are making both drinks at the same time, um, pour the entire contents of your jar into the shaker along with the vodka. I'm going to go ahead and do that because um, this is a pretty big shaker and it will fit. I'm just going to add the mix to the shaker. And then I'm going to add four ounces of vodka. So it's two ounces per drink. Um, so I'll add that as well. And you're gonna have to close it, make sure it's nice and sealed, and shake it vigorously for about 15 seconds. That's probably good. Nice and cold, go ahead and open it up. Grab your glasses, move these to the side, and you can go ahead and pour it over the ice. You can see how it has like a really nice aerated texture. And that is it. Um, that's the final cocktail. Now you can just garnish it with a little bit of hibiscus to finish it off. Um, and voila!
If you want to follow along with Misa's Kitchen, you will find a little printout in your box with some information about where to find me online. I share all kinds of healthy, gluten-free, Whole30, and vegan recipes on my blog, which is just Misa'sKitchen.com. I hope that you enjoy this tasty drink and your evening of savoring some lovely local cuisine. Cheers.